Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resonet or welcome back to Resonet. If you're one of my subscribers, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Um, okay, so this is just getting into fall season and I have got a new pumpkin mold. This is the biggest pumpkin jar mold I think that I've ever had. <laughs> so I was experimenting the other day with a couple of different kinds of colors and things and I kind of came across something that I just fell in love with. So I'm going to try to recreate that today. I'm not really sure that I can, but I'm going to give it a try. And one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little paper cup. I've got eight ounces of J-Diction made up right now. And I am going to be using this Bombay ink in sepia um, for the stem of my jar. Okay, this is kind of a brownish green color. It's, it's um, not very beautiful color, but it's going to be a great color for my stem. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to shake this up really good. This is not going to need very much. As you can see, it's about, oh, I don't know, half an inch, maybe, maybe a bit more deep in there. So we're not going to need very much resin for that. Just a little that was more than I needed. Yeah, that might be about right. And because I've got a lot of resin made up, I'm going to go ahead and divide this up into two different cups. I'm not measuring it. I'm just kind of dividing it in kind of in half just so that it, I've got a little bit more time um, before that starts getting really hot. All right. So let's go ahead and add this coloring to it just a bit. Two drops, probably more than I need, but that's right. Let's go ahead and see. I've got a little bit of black uh, mica powder on the stick. Let's see. Do I want to add just a drop of something to give it a little bit of... I might want to give it just a little bit more of opaque look. So let me find my oops, pigment paste. I'm going to put just actually a tiny bit of this Lorez white because I really don't need very much for this. I just kind of want to lighten the color a bit and I also want to make it just a bit more opaque. Let's mix together. A little more of a little bit of a light army green color now. And I feel like with this lighter color, it's going to give me a bit more of a contrast anyways, okay? Wipe my stick off real quick. I'm going to give a quick spray. 91% alcohol I'm spraying in there. And then I'm also going to spray just a bit of this alcohol just down the center, okay? Just roll it around in there. The stem doesn't really curl around too much, but. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour just in the center. All the way to the top of this, all the way to the top of the mold of the stem mold there. Maybe a bit more. There we go. I want it to look like it's going into the pumpkin top, not floating on top of the orange. And if you go, if you don't go high enough on a stem, then it's going to, you're going to have orange or whatever color you make your pumpkin. And then you'll have a layer and then you'll have your stem. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to give this a head start. I'm going to stick this in my curing machine and let this get going while we make, while we make up the color uh, for our next step, okay? Okay, so now let's get started with the color for our pumpkin. Get one of my, the one of my cutoff water bottles here. 
And I'm thinking this is going to take a good at least four ounces, okay? And I've got four ounces here, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Just scraped out really well. So what I might do is actually, now that I think about it, going to need to mix more than that because I'm going to want to do the lid too. And I want it to all match. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up just about all of this. I'm going to save just about one ounce is all. Okay. Now what I want to do, I'm going to add a bit of my tangerine in uh, my Bombay India ink. Give it a good shake. And I'm going to give it uh, about that much. We'll stir it up here and see what kind of color we get with that. It's a really pretty, kind of a rich color. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a couple of drops of this mum colored Pixis alcohol ink. Shake this up really good. Okay, I did four drops of that. I'll just stir a little bit more gentle so I don't go up over the edges. These water bottles are not cut evenly, unfortunately. You know, this is giving it kind of a little bit of a richer color of orange. It's really pretty. Gosh, this is exactly what I was talking about. I was not paying attention. Okay, so now what I want to do is the color is looking about like this. Do you see? You can still see clear down to the bottom. You can still, you can see that it's still very translucent. Okay, and that's fine, except that's not really what I'm going for. So I'm going to add just a little bit of orange mica powder. This is going to be just a little bit of a combination of a lot of things. And sometimes those end up being some of my favorite projects. Not a whole lot. Like that. My resin is starting to get a bit warm. Okay, now it's looking awfully pretty. So now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some of this pumpkin glitter that I got from, it's Recollection, so it came from Michael's. And this one I'm not going to spoon in. I'm just going to pour it in here about like that. And this combination of all these colors should make this a really pretty pumpkin. Really pretty, that's what I'm hoping. So it's gonna have just a really beautiful shimmer to it without being over the top. Can you kind of see this? See what we got going on in there? I don't know if it's really showing up very well for you, but I want it to go all evenly throughout the pumpkin, not just all at the top or all at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. It's going to be kind of, I'm going to have to dump it kind of fast because I don't want it going down the sides. It's going to go straight in there. I'm not seeing any problems with any bubbles coming through. 
So I'm not going to stop it part way. Um, I'm not going to stop it part way to add alcohol. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I'm talking and then I start thinking about something else. What I'm going to do next and lose my train of thought. So I apologize for that. Okay, there we go. So that took almost, gosh, you guys, almost exactly eight ounces. That's actually quite a bit. So I've got this little bit left here. It's kind of what I was trying to avoid because I've added a lot of different things. But I think I can kind of remember what we did because I'm going to need to make it more resin so we've got enough for that lid. And... Um, So yeah, that's not even going to be enough to finish this off. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and start making up some more resin. And as soon as that's done, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I've got eight ounces of J-Diction made up again. I've put about three and a half ounces or so in this little cup here. And um, I went ahead and just put a couple drops of this. Uh, Bombay India ink tangerine. I'm just backtracking the way what we did the first time um, Minus a little bit since we're doing a smaller amount. I did I think four drops. So we're gonna do two drops Of this uh, mum in alcohol ink by Texas Then I'm gonna do just the tiniest little bit of this Sigwong mica powder Just a little bit We'll get this mixed up before we add the glitter. I decided to do it in one of the taller cup this time so that I don't have the problem with it going over like I did the last time. I gave a really pretty kind of a shimmer in there with the mica powder. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the glitter. And I guess we're going to do, I think we did two piles of that last time. So this time we're just going to do one. It's kind of a quicker repeat of what we did before. Really, really, really pretty color here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this poured into finishing off this part of the pumpkin. And go all the way to the top. Okay, there we go. Now we've got plenty left for our lid. I'm going to give this a quick spray and then I'm going to move it over to the curing rack where it can cure. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is definitely still liquid, but that's okay. I'm going to take just a little cup here, one of my little cups. And a lot of times if I, if you pour around that circle, you won't get much of uh, the two colors combining. So let's see, it's really pretty, pretty orange. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour around it. I hope that it just, that the weight will just kind of keep it down there. I'm going to pour to the top here. There we go with that one. I'm going to give it just a quick spray of alcohol. And I think we're going to end up having a bit of our stem and our pumpkin kind of combined there. But, um, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and set this over and let it cure. Hello, everybody. I'm back. This is completely cured. And I'm excited to get this out of here and see what it looks like. 
Um, there's also another mold that I really like as well that's just like a little solid pumpkin. It's just a decoration. And um, I went ahead and poured that one last night too, and I'll show you the outcome of that one uh, in case anybody is interested in that mold. I will post a link to it. And, but for now, let's get this out. Okay, look at, look at this. We poured this, um, we poured this stem in here first. I put it in the curing machine, not for very long, maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so. And um, just a tad, just a tad bit came up here. I don't know if you can see a little bit of the swirl came in, but you can't even see it. You don't see it through here. And you can see that the stem just sits perfectly on there with a different color. Super happy with the way they, that turned out. Really fun. Okay, so let's get this out. Might have to put a bit of alcohol in here to loosen it up. I can see it's the seals breaking all around the edges. So probably won't be too hard to get out. Let's see, maybe I'll try it without it really quickly. And if it's too hard, then we'll go ahead and spray. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spray just a bit. It would probably come out without it, but I just needed to kind of go down over those edges down here to the bottom. Just kind of need it to slide out a bit more. Grab my paper towel to wipe off the, the um, alcohol once we get it out of here. There we go, yeah, much easier, much, much easier. Just turn the right, wrong side out. Oh my gosh, the color of this is really pretty. And usually you can just kind of twist your inside mold and it'll pop right out. Okay, gosh, that turned out really cute. What do you guys think of the color? I didn't want to do a super, super bright orange on this. So I'm really glad that we added a little bit of the, a little bit of the darker, the mum kind of gave it a really kind of a prettier color there. And here's our little lid. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? This is actually a really good size little jar as well. This came from Amazon, I believe. I'll double check, but um, we got no bubbles. The rim on the base looks really good. I don't see any bubbles around the edges. Just turned out really pretty. What do you think? I don't know if you can see the base. A little bit of sparkle down in there. Super pretty. Really happy with the way this turned out. This is just a simple fun project, but what a cute little gift this could be for somebody or just to decorate in your own home. Um, really, really fun with the with the fall. Now this uh, pumpkin extra fine glitter that we added. If you can see, this has got a little bit of like some green and gold tints to it, along with the orange. And so I feel like it's just perfect for this, for this pumpkin. Just adds to the fall color. Now, the other mold that I was going to tell you about is this, just this little guy here. It's just a one piece. It's got the stem all the way to the base and it's just made to sit like that. And so I poured that one last night as well. And what I did for this one, just to kind of mix it up a bit, the inside is solid, so it has a little bit of a different um, tone to it once it's completely poured. But I wanted it just a little bit darker, so I added a couple of extra drops of the Mum alcohol ink, okay? And so here's this one, and this one turned out really pretty as well. The stem did pretty well with just staying up here at the top. And it is, like I said, since it's a solid piece of resin, you get a lot more of the depth in here. It's actually really pretty. I don't know that you wouldn't wonder if this was a hand-blown solid glass piece if you were just to look at it. It's very pretty. This mold is very shiny inside. So lots that you can do with this one as well. Here is the color difference between the two. 
This one's kind of brighter and happier, but it's also a lot more shallow. So um, even though I added the extra mum, it just also makes a difference that the thickness of the resin. Okay, and this one as well, you can see, really pretty. It's, you know, it's got some depth in here, the widest part of the pumpkin, but it's um, still just a little bit different. But there they are. Really happy with the way these turned out. Let me know what you think. I'm going to decorate with these, I think, myself. <laughs> um, this, really quickly, here is the lid to this. Now, I noticed this is not overly shiny. If I wanted to go in and just add, I wouldn't do anything to this. This one is fine, but I could go in and if I wanted to add just a really thin layer of clear resin to give this a little bit of a shiny top coat, I could do that. It's, um, well, I guess it is shiny. It's just not glossy, okay? But um, I don't know if I care enough to do that or not. I like them kind of just the way they are. Hello, you guys. So I came back really quick because I just remembered something that might be kind of fun to try out in this little pumpkin. And that is what if we were to put, try our little fairy lights inside. Turn those on this way. Might just kind of give it a little bit of an extra something. This doesn't need to be as narrow, so I'm gonna wind it a little bit wider. Here, put them down inside and see what that looks like oh gosh that's pretty too you know these um batteries and these little fairy lights that came with that uh pendant light mold they actually i'm surprised how long they actually last a long time but look at that how pretty is that if you didn't want to do a jack-o-lantern or anything like that with a face how pretty and subtle is that with the fairy lights in it Tell you what, I am having so much fun with my molds and all these different lights. Um, but that is really fun. And if you wanted it for Halloween or something, you could actually do it even with the flashing lights on. Maybe like that. Give it more of a kind of a jack-o'-lantern look to it maybe. But um, I kind of like just the softness of the light staying on or you could fill it with something but gosh isn't that just so pretty love it love that love that now if you wanted a different option and you just wanted to put that on plug-in stand lights and you wanted to leave it on longer we could see what it would look like with one of these you just plug it into a usb port and set it on top of there fits nicely on on it no problems there let's see and here it is with this on so it kind of basically just does the same effect just a little bit different the fairy lights um, just have it glow in a little bit of a different way but you could stand that on there um, with no problem and yeah that's just super pretty as well. Now the little disc light, let me see. I've got that here in my ornament. I'm going to just borrow that out of here really quick. Let's see. I'm sure it's going to fit in there just fine. It's kind of a wider opening in here. Oh yeah, plenty big. And... Here it is in here. We'll just place it in there with the lid and that one is on the fade color where it just kind of fades to different colors. And um, it's pretty too. It definitely just kind of glows out the top more than it does the sides, I feel like. You can still see it if you turn off the lights. Let's look. There you go, yeah. You could definitely use this too if you wanted to. For a little bit of a different look. Definitely glows up all the different colors. Here's just a plain white light in there. And that works. Okay, you could do that where it just stayed and you just kind of have a soft glow. 
and you've got that option as well. Anyway, here's my little pumpkin. Here are just a few of the different light options if you were interested in seeing those and might make a difference on what you would want to order for your own pumpkin if you decide to make this. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I hope it inspired you to try something, try something new outside of the box and let me know what you think. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me. I'll see you all next time.